Oh, yeah. All right. I'm talking to you. So tell me about your hair. You sounded like you were giving some really good explanation to why your hair needs to look good so you feel better about yourself, but you just failed. No, you failed. I'm not going to continue saying it. Okay, well then you double failed. <laughs> I need my hair to look good in order for me to feel good. But why? Doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter what I'm wearing, doesn't matter if I haven't showered for weeks. If my hair looks good, I'm confident as shit. There are some girls who don't care about their hair, but for me, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care if I have an unspoken bond between my hair and I. And it needs to be fabulous. And if it's not fabulous, and if it's not looking good, it doesn't even have to be all hella fancy. It just has to look good or, like, be this normal state. And if it's not, then my day is out of whack and I don't feel right. And I don't want to go anywhere. And I'm probably going to be wearing a hat and or a hood or maybe even a bead. So you're saying that your hair is an essential part to how you feel about yourself. Guys, what would your hair say about you? Really? You said what? It says that I work long days. It's very unkempt. Uh, that's about it. And when people see you with long hair and they think, do you think that's what they think about you? I don't know what they think about me. You think people think you're intimidating because of the hair? If it was banged out. Some people do. Do you think that people, you get, do you notice that you get different reactions from people on the days you do your hair different, like when you pull yeah, it back? Actually, people say oh. a lot of different things to me. People notice my hair a lot, which is kind of weird. Especially when I'll throw up like an afro or I'll wear like a, a hairband or I'll make it curly the next day. Or like I'll pack it down really tight so it's like looks small. People just trip on the length mainly, but it's not even that long. Why do you have your hair in dreadlocks? Well, my hair says about me right now is that like, I don't really, I don't really care for what the other people are trying to, you know, like, I don't really care for what other people think you would look good or what's like in or what's a clean cut or anything like that. What do you think dreadlocks, you think dreadlocks has something to say about that? I think dreadlocks is just like, wild, you know, like, not, like, not clean cut, trying to get all pretty every time, you know what I mean? Just go out, do what you want to do. So what do you think people think about you when you see your dreadlocks? They probably think I'm like some dirty old bum. Like, <laughs> But nah, I don't know. Dirty old bum like jazz. Nah, he, he got the curls for the girls. I got the dreadlocks. Long hair, don't care. Long, Long hair, hair, don't, don't care. care. What do you think your hair uh -oh. says about you? Do you think your hair says you are cool, laid says... back? Yeah. Hey, my first text low in three days, guys. Low maintenance. Yeah. You, you want like a personality? You want like. Well, what do you think? Like, do you think that. Since your hair says you're low maintenance, are you low maintenance as a person? Do you feel that way? And then when people see your hair, do you like, oh, well, she's low maintenance. She must not care about her hair, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sometimes, yeah. When you do it up, do you think people, do you notice you get different reactions from people? Um, And people yeah. treat you differently? Like, oh, she must be like, you know, no, really? No, treat me differently, no. No? I think my hair says I'm young and I like to have fun. Young and like to have fun. You have more important things to worry about than your hair? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. How important is... The style of your hair, not too important. When first meeting someone, is their hair that you use to categorize, judge the character by? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, someone has crazy hair. <laughs> yeah, oh, that no, person might be crazy. Their hair's crazy. They're probably crazy. Uh, um, okay, next one. Does the style of their hair affect your initial impression of the person? Sometimes, I guess. Depending on the hair. It depends if it's all just normal or if it's like, you know. Okay. How much time do you spend preparing your hair? Mm, probably one to five minutes. Five to ten minutes. <laughs> I, I agree, sort of. Do you find it easier when you first, when first meeting someone if they don't have any hair? Right. Uh, that was, um, that's the curveball. Like, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't make a difference. Oh, he looks really, he's really nice. He has no hair. He's really nice. Do you think uh, Do you think hair affects your self conception in terms of how confident or insecure? Me, no. But other people, maybe. You know, like girls, guys, girly yeah, guys. Depends on the, the place and time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not good. Situational. Uh, what is it? Do you change your hairstyle different? Um, it's like if, if you're going to like for, for, it? jobs and stuff like that, if you're going to change your hair. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely, if in, you know, some places they don't like long hair or, or they don't like different styles or stuff like that. 
Mm. What do you think the most social accepted length, length hair length for men is? I would say probably medium or short. Medium. What about age? Do you think age has something to do with that? Age? Like young men have long hair? Maybe, yeah. Like, like older people tend to have longer hair, mm -hmm. I guess. Like, don't care, long hair, don't care? Yeah, they like to keep it, keep it, you know, gangsta. Hmm. What do you think the most sociable accepted hair length for women is? Long, long, of course. Uh, but you know, short women have short hair these days. They do, but I guess it's more common now for for short and medium. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have a broad range, but generally mm -hmm. it's long, I guess. Or girls with their, their hair cut on the side, too. Yeah, they have different designs and textures. Um, well, why is your hair so important? Like, how long do you take you to do your hair in the morning? Actually, I don't really do my hair in the morning, so I just let it go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I what, think natural is more... What do you think the social accepted length is for men and women? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a toughie. <laughs> Well, personally, I like my hair long. Yeah. I feel that many women have their hair short because a lot of the times they don't know what to do with it. And so cutting it short, it's easier to handle. And you do all sorts of thing, things when it's short. And when it's long, it seems like such a drag because not a lot of girls want to put so much time into their hair. Okay. What about men? Men? Men. Hombres. For men, I think any length is acceptable, except for like this long. Except for this long weight? I think it's, it's still unless you're into that hardcore metal or hippie. Or hippie. All right. Is there any correlation with people with short hair and people with long hair in terms of characteristics and character as a person? Do you think people with no hair are somehow friendlier? Really that. Not many people do. Not many people do. I'm definitely gonna put some thought into that. All right. I'll get back to you. All right. How do you think your hair? What do you think your hair says about you as a like character-wise? Like, oh, she's easygoing. She's calm and cool and collected. She's. Well, I get a lot of compliments from my hair because it's so long, and a lot of people always ask me. How can you have it so long? Or what do you do with it? And sometimes when I do my hair, people get surprised because I actually do my hair. Because I do it. Long. Okay. In my natural habitat. In your natural habitat. Exactly. Um, how important is your hair to you? Pretty important. I think it says a lot about the person you are and the way you present yourself. Exactly. So. so when you wake up, do you think like, if you're going to a job interview and stuff like that and you want to come off as confident or something, what would you, how would you do your hair? Uh, so in this case, it's professional. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whether it's something to, like an updo or, you know, straightening my hair or curling it, just as long as I can tell that I've done something to it and I'm not like waking up with like a frizzy hairdo and that I just head. walk into work like, yeah, I just woke up and I'm not prepared, yeah. you know? Well, what, what do you think the social acceptable length is for, uh, for hair for men? For men? Yeah. Okay. Like these days, I mean, I think people are different. Like the younger, sometimes younger men have longer hair. Varies. Yeah, exactly. So I know in my case, um, growing up with my brother, he does have like that long like, skater look. So. Exactly. And, and he's in middle school right now, so that would be considered one, one look or one length. But as he gets older, do you think? It, it goes shorter. It goes shorter. It does. But I think it varies. And it's all up to like the person, like the type of characteristic traits that they carry. Okay. So you think that if they're like free willed or carefree, regardless of the age, they'll have long hair, mm -hmm. sort of. You know, mean mm -hmm. or they'll have something that shows that that's what they are. Yeah. What about um, for women? How do you feel like, especially a lot of these like this girl right there? Has short hair, um, but like people who have like you know like women shave the side of their heads and stuff like that. How do you think? Um, do you think that's you know acceptable in society? 
I don't think it's bad and acceptable. It's just, <coughs> you know, out of fashion. It's not really like it's a statement. The, the normal way. It's just, yeah. So people with that hairstyle, like, all right, what do you think they have in common? What do you think they have in common? Mm -hmm. With what? Women that have their, you know, that have that hairstyle. Obviously, they're all different people, but like women that shave the side of their head, knowing that it's not a social norm, knowing just that. Doing it to stand out, I guess. So, do you think, what do you think that says about people's hairstyles? People do their hairstyles to stand out. They That's their own, you know, unique side. Yeah. I know I personally wouldn't do it. Why not? But there's nothing wrong with like people who do it. Well, because I don't want to shave the half of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it take too long to grow back, and I like my hair. <laughs> I should have my hair all the time. Yeah, well, yeah. that's you, though. Know. You do it out of looks, styles, right? Yeah, exactly. So, there's a difference. When you see somebody with, um, when you first meet somebody, how does their hair play a factor into how you perceive them? Mm. Like, oh, his hair is too long, or his hair is spiky, never, or... Well, yeah. If it's done, I'll be like, well, he took Whoa. the time to, you know, <laughs> do his hair this morning. So, like, Whoa. that shows that shows you something. Like, they care about their appearance. They want to, you know, look good. Show that, that, like, positive outlook. Which is a good thing. And if they're not, it's just, like, really, you know. Really? Like, that's a downer. But really? I've had some girls say that, like, some people have... Well, in my case, I was since I'm mixed, they're like, Yo, you're mixed, you don't have to do your hair. Your hair just comes out the way it comes out. Yeah. Do you think that, um, do you think that people who have hair that kind of like naturally just, you know? Well, growing up, I remember being told a lot by you know, students in my class that, Wow, you're so lucky because you just like wake up and your hair's like not naturally straight and mine's all frizzy and I actually have to put like mousse in it or like wet it so yeah, to yeah. tame the beast. To tame in my the case, beast. like if anything, I'd have a little bit of frizzes like the ones you see now, but it wasn't really big, a big deal. So I was just like, no, I wish I had your hair that way. I could just like wake up and have like curly hair and I wouldn't have to do anything to it because most of the time I do. But when I don't, I'm just like, you know, less damage to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. less but damage. I'm okay with it. It's not. All right, so overall, overall, how do you feel like your hair, how do you do your hair? What do you think it says about you to other people? Like, I look at you and I'm like, oh, your hair is... What do you think people say about you because you're... She's carefree, laid back. She uh, does not have to spend that much time doing her hair because she's so blessed. When I do, blessed. When, I'm, when I do do my hair, I, I know that it'll be something that's like brought up mm -hmm. by the... the people you're interacting with, yeah. The, the one that I'm, you know, socializing with at that moment because that comment will always come up like, oh, you, your hair looks nice today, or how'd you do your hair? Like, I want to know how to like curl my hair that way, or your hair looks nice straight. And do you braid your hair? I do braid my hair. Mm. Mm. Not too often, as like I would when I was younger, but here and there, I would just do, do side braid. Can't personally do like a bunch of styles to myself, rather than just curl it and straighten it and the side braid, but I can't do like the <laughs> Fish tower, all those like crazy stuff. Okay, okay. Where are your parents from? I hope you enjoyed our video. We're gonna end with a video of a couple arguing on who's gonna use the bathroom to do their hair. Hey guys, it's Tori. Um, I'm basically just teaching you guys how to curl my hair. 
have a wand. I have a wand. Um, a that's what makes the curls look pretty. Let me like wrap it up. And then cut twenty. Cut twenty or longer, actually. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? My hair just burnt 